Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. In today's video, Marissa and I are working around the barn, getting some stuff taken care of. And for the first time on film, we're putting a saddle on Cora. We're checking on the Hoss herd, and we've got some actual footage of their new home in Colorado. I wanna thank Hydrabed for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to Bison Ranching. So one of the things I'm gonna do this morning is we're gonna move the hay bale rack out of the bison corral and we're gonna put it in the pen for the horses because they need full time clean hay. We're gonna use the hydra bed to do it. We're gonna use the arms on it and just kind of squeeze them together and pull it into our corral. The second thing is we had to go get a bale of hay. We ran over to Grandma Joy's, and because I've had the hydro bed for a while now, I've learned a couple of tips and tricks by using these arm beds. So sometimes hay bales, no matter wherever you get them from, just aren't lined up so the arm beds can get in there. So one of the things that I've learned to do is try to flip these hay bales over so I can line them up so you can squeeze the sides. So I've learned a little trick here by getting on the back of the bale, flipping the top over a couple times and lining up, repositioning the truck, and then we can get the hay bale loaded. Using the hydro bed so much, I've been getting better and better, figuring out little tips and tricks along the way to make ranching way more convenient than it has ever been before. I'm so thankful for the hydro bed. It's made a huge difference on this ranch, our entire operation and our family. You can load the bell with the hydro bed and unload it right directly into the hay bale rack. You don't have to get the tractor out of anything, all with the convenience of the hydro bed. So we went ahead and did that for the horses and then it was time to saddle core up and I wanted to give you an update on how that progress is going. A bit? No, not yet. All right, all you horse people out there, I know you always make comments whenever you see Cora or our girl Morgan, and uh, you always try to critique me, and I honestly appreciate uh, the critiquement and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to 
raise a horse basically from a weaning age a young age uh, like Cora was when we first got her about seven or eight months old and I wanted to learn myself so I'm gonna see I'm going to make lots of mistakes um, I know that a lot of you it's easy for you to sit there on the video and tell me all the things I'm doing wrong because you've done it uh, a thousand times well I haven't and so part of this is uh, me feeling comfortable Marissa feeling comfortable around this horse these horses and uh, me learning I'm gonna make mistakes I probably put the saddle on wrong and you probably found three things three or four things maybe several things that I did wrong but um, part of this is me learning on my own and I know a lot of you have started out probably as a kid I didn't start out riding horses as a kid or any of that I'm 38 years old learning how to do this stuff and so I'm gonna screw up basically and uh, a lot of you can help me out by telling me some things to improve on and stuff but guys I want you to understand something I'm gonna make mistakes I'm not gonna do this perfectly that's the third time I've ever put the saddle on this horse ever now that doesn't mean I'm gonna hop on her and we're gonna head out in the pasture and start working at all so we are learning, she's learning, she's got the bit in her mouth. And if you guys wanna see Cora and, and, and these horses and how they've evolved with us, and they will with a little bit of time uh, and patience, um, we'll evolve and we'll have a, we'll get it together someday. But just take it easy on us, okay? She, I mean, I feel like she handled it well. Yeah. We're never having, you know. I guess I really have nothing to compare it to, but, you know, <laughs> she didn't go crazy, you know. She looks different with a saddle on. Yeah. I've done so many things with the hydro bed. I <laughs> I can't believe I've been ranching without this thing. Seriously, I love it. It is the greatest tool that we have for bison ranching. Promise you. Did you guys know that Hydrobed has a lifetime warranty on these bell loading arms right here? Hydrobed is bison tough. It's got a two-year systems warranty and a five-year structural warranty. If you don't have a Hydrobed and you're looking for a flat bed with an arm bed, hydraulic arm bed, guys, check out Hydrobed. I got a link here in my description. And there's so many places across the country. You can go to the Hydrobed's website and you can look up any dealer located near you. If you're in Oklahoma, check out the Stillwater one, which is right where my alma mater is, 
Oklahoma State. You can find a dealer near you by going through the website here at hydrobeds.com. There's lots of places that you can get a hydrobed from mounted right on your truck. Hi guys, I'm so excited for this. I wanna show you guys the new owners of the Haas herd, James and Jack and their two families have been sending me some footage of Haas and his ladies at their new home in Colorado. Let's take a look. I'm so excited for these new bison owners and the fact that we got to be a part of helping someone start their own bison ranch. As you can see here, they're loving their new home, their new environment, cooler weather, drier air, not as humid. Um, and so they seem to be loving and fitting in just fine. These guys have been getting spoiled. James and them have given them fresh hay, cubes, protein tubs. They're doing just great, doing the same things that I've been doing here at the Ponderosa. And they'll be well taken care of. Can't wait to see how James and Jack and their families expand their bison operation. So lucky and fortunate for Marissa and I to be a part of that and getting their foundation herd started. Haas will be a great breed bull. He deserves his own herd, which a lot of you left those comments and I appreciate it. Um, Haas gets his own opportunity. Doesn't have to compete with Big Joe anymore. Um, so Haas has got his own little group and will continue to grow at this new ranch. James and Jack and their family uh, plan on expanding their operation, but what a nice little foundation herd. Good genetics and a good breed bull out of Haas. But I'm glad that we can bring it to you. I wanna thank James for sending me these videos of his new herd on their place as you can see it's a beautiful property jealous and love the mountains um there in colorado it's one of marissa and i's favorite places hosses is in colorado I want to thank Hydrobed for sponsoring this video. I want to give them a big thank you for believing in us, our ranching operations, what we do for the American bison and how this benefits our family so much. Couldn't be happier with the versatility of the Hydrobed has made a huge difference on our bison ranch and our operation and family. Use the link in the description right here. You can go to hydrobeds.com or you can call the number 1-800-530-5624 give them a call, look up your dealer. You can go to their website, find a dealer located near you, and you can get one of those put on your truck. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon. Keep on boss ranching.